Here comes the biggest Bachelor spoiler in a very long time. This has never happened before, and we are so excited to talk about it. If you don't want to hear what it is, don't listen to this part, but I will tell you that this is something that's going to come out very soon, probably. It's, you're, you're going to regret not listening to the spoiler if you don't listen now. The rumors on the street are, well, shut it off. You don't want to listen, but please tune <laughs> last in. Chance. Last, last chance. Last chance. Last chance. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you're not going to miss, you're not going to want to mm-hmm. miss this tea at all. It's piping. The rumors on the street are Claire Crawley has quit being the bachelorette because she fell in love with contestant Dale Moss, who is absolutely gorgeous. Just have to state mm-hmm. that. I totally understand why she would fall in love with him. But mm-hmm. she quit the show. And now Tasha is coming in as the new Bachelorette. And apparently it's going to be half and half. They're, they're going to show both things. Claire, you know, the falling in love with this guy and quitting. And now Tasha coming in. And I need this to be true. I need this to be true so fucking bad. I know. It, it, it would be so incredibly juicy. And like I said, this is unverified. We don't know. It really started from this Reddit thread um, on the Bachelor Reddit. And from a woman, or who knows, from a, you know, a person that runs a Bachelor spoiler account. And they got some tips saying that production was having a lot of problems with Claire she canceled everything that was supposed to happen on that Saturday before, and they called in a new bachelorette. They are recasting her with Tasha. Tasha is already quarantining at the hotel, and they should be taking her phone on Friday. The plan is for her to call back some of the guys that have already been eliminated. Um, when I heard this, I figured it was a bit of a stretch and didn't believe it. Then that magazine article came out, and it made it more believable. And today, Reality Steve said that he heard some of the guys got called to come back. All of that is pointing to what I got told on Monday, so I figured I would share. So... There was an article on life, uh, that came out in Life and Style that was saying that the same thing, that Claire was done. She already fell in love. The sh- like, show was over. She was, she was out. And those are always hard because I'm, Life and Style, you're not going to get like – you would assume some, there's not 100% uh, accuracy in a lot of, in a lot of what they um, post, but something like that, it's just so – like it would be such a weird thing to have no truth behind it, you know? Like, that's never happened before where a bachelor or a bachelorette, there's rumors that they have already fallen in love and that person is named and the whole thing, like, unless there is some sort of drama going on. And Reality Steve did say that he was aware of the, the post. He's last, uh, over the weekend, he said, I've been, been on the phone for the last two hours digging, cannot confirm 100%. Um, but if you ask my opinion, I think there is some serious validity to it based on what I'm hearing now. Then she did a live with Demi. He did a live with Demi. Demi said she texted Tasha, and her text turned to green, which she thinks means her phone's off, which means maybe she doesn't have her phone because now she's the best friend. (laughs) I just love this theory or whatever it is because I think it's true at this point. Like, I think, you know, why would this be spreading so much? If there was – if this was wrong, then Tasha or Chris Harrison or whoever it was by now would be like – this is not true. This is, you know, right. Not well, like Claire is having a great season. She's looking for love. She's on her journey, all that bullshit. But that's not, that's not what's being said. Now, this is what I'm interested in seeing. What will happen when they air Claire's season? What will, you know, the opinions of Chris Harrison be? Because, you know, he was so strong on, on Claire and being like, we can't, ex- we can't express how excited we are for her season and for her to have this journey of finding love. She's been on the show multiple times. She's, you know, an adult now and she's really just yeah. ready to settle down. And then she finds that and she's like, okay, I am now quitting the show. <laughs> and I honestly, I have no idea how to feel about about it um, from Claire's end because on one hand I 100% understand falling in love with someone and not wanting to be with the other people like you don't want to fake a relationship with the other people and you feel so strongly about this person yeah uh, you don't want to continue on like you can't you can't help your feelings I mean your feelings are your feelings but on the other hand, you signed up for a show, you signed a contract, you knew that this was a possibility of you falling in love with somebody and then, you know, because how does that not run through your brain before you go on the show? You, you, we've said it multiple times. What if I like somebody on the first night? I don't like anyone else. What do I do? You got to continue the show if you sign this contract. But 
now she's, I guess not because she's getting out of it because they're going to bring Tasha in. And it honestly adds a lot of spice to the season. So you know what? Now that I'm talking this through, props to Claire because we're going to get an awesome season and we're going to get Tasha as the bachelorette, which is what we wanted from the beginning. We've been rooting for Tasha. She's 29 years old. It's not like she's 23, 24, whatever it is, young, not ready to settle down. She's been married before. She has a great backstory. Like I just, I think Tasha as a bachelorette is what we needed. And for Claire, to step aside, get that man real quick and get out of there and then have Tasha come in. Like I am all for this season and it brings the spice that we needed because I think when Matt James was announced as the bachelor, we all were like, Oh, you know, we're so over Claire's season. Like we just want yeah. Matt James as the bachelor. Now we don't even watch Claire, even though when it was announced that Claire's season was filming, we then got excited again, but this makes me even more excited. And I do think that Tasha, if, it is true if she is the bachelorette. I also think it's, it's going to be a great story of someone finding love, hopefully, like we thought with Claire. Because like I said, she's older. She's 29 years old. She's done the, the shows before. She's done Paradise. She's, she's, she's done the thing. So at this yeah. point, I think she's ready to, ready to settle down. And you know what? Number one, I just have to say, if this isn't true and we just get like a regular Claire season... It's going to be so disappointing. It's going to be so boring because we were like, have all these crazy theories. It's going to be so disappointing. But I will say, like, it's funny because, of course, if you you watch the show and you've seen Claire, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, of course this happens with Claire. Like, where everything is taken to the extreme. We – I was so confident that they went in with Claire because they were – really looking for a success story. Like, you know, a lot of their, there hasn't been um, the last few seasons, the couples haven't worked out. And I feel like they thought Claire would be, you know, she would go in and definitely fall in love. And it would be maybe that like love success that, that they've been looking for. And of course, like she, if this is, if this is all true, she went in and fell in love in like 10 days and was like, <laughs> I'm out. Like this is, you know, this is, this is the guy and I'm with you. I, I hope this is true. And I hope we see it all go down. Like, I hope we see footage from Claire's season. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how they do this. Like do you show Claire's season and then you're like, Oh, now it's Tasha. And it's like, how do you, how's also, how do you do this with the other guys? Like the guys, I envision it, you know, and, and it's, and it's crazy because it's like, I just feel like you'll get so many, it'll be hilarious to see like people who come in and who are like, I am 100% here for Claire. I want Claire to be the girl. I want, I'm ready for Claire. And then like she fucking leaves and Tasha comes and they're like, 100% here for Tasha. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's a great point. That is something I thought about the fact yeah. that these guys thought they were getting we're, Claire, but now right. they're getting Tasha. Like is Tasha just getting Claire's like sloppy seconds on these guys? Like they don't yeah. even get to cast. Like they don't cast guys with Tasha in mind. They did it with Claire, which is why they obviously picked a much older um, cast than normal. But maybe that's maybe that's like exactly what Tasha needs too. Like well, there well, is well, there's think, so many guys that are around her age. Yeah, Tasha's 29 years old. I think that the guys yeah. are around her age. I will yeah. say the sloppy seconds thing is a great point. Like, oh, these were the men for Claire. I'm hoping right. that they call some people up that they had on the back burner that they're like, hey, we want you to fly out come on the show. Tasha's going to be the bachelorette and they mix it. Some of Claire's, some of Tasha's new guys. I see, I see the footage. It's dramatic cuts of the producer saying she won't come out. She won't come out. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. And they're knocking on the door and they're like, Claire, come on. She's like, no, I don't want to. And you know, it's a whole, it's a whole ordeal why she doesn't want to go on a date. And then all of a sudden we see fiery, beautiful Tasha walking in and she and then just the looks like ends. a princess and then yeah. yeah and then it ends it's like her it's we- like her yeah like the, the the trailer is like all the drama and then like the fucking limo door opens and you see just like one foot come out and it's Tasha yep. and, then it, and then it ends and then it ends, <laughs> and, then it ends <laughs> and then we get the season right and I just I think it works out perfectly when you write it like that and I just oh. hope that they do bring in other guys because I don't think it's fair to Tasha to just have guys who thought they were getting Claire because yeah. then you don't know in your in your heart if these guys are there for you or if they were there for Claire. Although, 
I was going to say, you know, it's only been 12 days. They can't be that attached to Clara, but Clara fell in love with them the 12 days. So maybe they are. So maybe right. they are. <laughs> and maybe pe- maybe guys will leave. Like maybe they'll be like, look, I, I came here to date Clara. That's not happening. So I'm, I'm going to go. And I'm sure like they, they have a whole, like I'm sure book of guys that they can call up. I also feel like they had so many guys kind of on the back burner for, um, if Claire wasn't the bachelorette, like with the age thing, they, I think they kept a lot of the younger guys and said like, Oh, you know, we'll, we'll keep you in mind for, for another time. So it it could happen during that. I mean, this is all true. The, the bachelor producers must just be weeping with excitement because, because pouring out of there, it doesn't get more, it doesn't get more dramatic than this. Like, I feel like at first they probably freak out because it's like, Holy shit, this girl is our bachelorette and she just wants to quit. But it's like, oh shit, this girl is our bachelorette. We've only been here for a week and a half. Let's let's just get somebody. Let's just pick somebody else. I think bachelor producers literally get turned on from the drama. Like they're like, yes. Oh, like I am so. I just it's. I am this happens, getting that way. I'm like, I can't believe I that we are going to get this happens, juicy of a the, season. Uh, the ratings will be uh, through the roof. If through this the roof, happens. and it's what we need. We need yeah. the show to come back better than ever. And this is exactly what will do it. Yeah. You know what? I'm really excited. I really hope this is true. Like I said before, if it's not, and we just have Claire's season like normal, gonna really suck. Boo. 